everybody and welcome back to Danielle Ability. Today is day 16 of quarantine and I've been having not a whole lot of motivation to do my makeup and my hair and all that kind of stuff since I'm just at home and I wanted to today and so I thought I would just do a video and do a little makeup tutorial. I love makeup and I love experimenting with it and trying different things and so I just thought I would do a quick little tutorial for you guys. So the big thing for me with makeup is I need coverage because I don't have super great skin but I also want to keep it super natural looking. I don't like when there's a bunch of makeup caked on. One of the biggest pet peeves I have is when you'll see those videos on Instagram where there's these beautiful girls and they have really pretty freckles and stuff and then they just cover it with this huge thing of foundation. So I try to keep it as natural as possible. So I'm not really gonna show you all the different brands that I use because I literally just buy my makeup at the drugstore. I'm not one to buy super expensive makeup, so it's not really worthwhile <laughs> giving you all the different brands that I use. One of the things that I do, which I know is completely not what most people do, but I've tried using a beauty blender in the past for my foundation and just didn't really like the way that it looked. So I actually, what I do is I squirt my foundation onto there, but then I use a makeup brush to put it on my face. It seems kind of weird to just use the sponge for putting my foundation on there to then put on the brush, but I don't like getting it on my hands, so I find that this way I can get it evenly on the brush without having to like put it on the back of my hand like a lot of people do. So this is what I do, and then you just kind of get it evenly on your brush. And I just try to find a good foundation that matches my skin as close as possible. And the other nice thing about using your foundation on here is that if you're using two different colors of foundation to blend together, it's a lot easier to mix it together on here than it would be on your hand or on the back of, or like on your brush. Make sure you blend it into your hairline so you don't have a big line. And down onto your neck. I really like this foundation. It's not super heavy, but it does give pretty decent coverage. It's just a CoverGirl foundation. So then the next thing I do is go in with a concealer. I use a really small brush for this so that I can kind of cover any spots or anything like that. And this is where I try to find one that has a really good coverage since my foundation doesn't have like super heavy coverage I make sure that my concealer does so that I can cover any spots or anything like that and just the thing I like about the small brush is that it just kind of is able to be very precise I think one of the reasons that I love makeup so much is because I'm an artist and it's kind of like painting a canvas and, um, you know, I love the detail and that kind of thing. So it's definitely fun for me. And then I just kind of go around my nose to even out any redness that might be there. And 
the last thing I do is just get some on my finger and then just go under my eyes to help with the dark circles. Okay, and then the next thing I do is just put on blush. I'm using a e.l.f. blush palette. I obviously really like this one. The other ones are a little too pink for me. And this one's more like a natural looking tone for my skin. And then I also have an e.l.f. I call it e.l.f. I don't know. It's E-L-F or whatever. Um, just a eyeshadow palette. I tend to stick with browns. Occasionally I'll do some other colors, like I'll do, I don't know, purple sometimes, like a really soft purple, because um, they say that goes good with brown eyes, but I tend to usually just stick with neutral browns. So I usually go in first with a pretty light color just as a base. And then take a smaller brush and go with like a more medium brown color in my crease. And then I'll go in with a dark brown in my crease again. So that that kind of layers it a little bit. And then the last thing that I do is I take a kind of a bigger brush like this and just blend it all together. Like that. And then I use a liquid eyeliner like this. This is a Revlon one, but I've used a lot of different ones. I kind of start in the middle and then go to each side. I don't know why. And I usually do just little flick. Nothing too drastic. Like that. Nothing too crazy, just helps kind of accentuate the eyes. And then I'm using a L'Oreal mascara. And I always start as close to the roots of my eyelashes as I can, and then just pull up and kind of blink at the same time. That way I feel like it helps get all of my eyelashes coated. And I try to pull up so that 
kind of helps to naturally curl my eyelashes without using an eyelash curler, which I do sometimes, but I don't know. I guess I kind of feel like they're not great for your eyelashes. Um, and I want to have my eyelashes for as long as possible, so I just kind of do it with the brush like that. And then just put some on the bottom lashes. I don't worry too much if I get some mascara like on my underneath my eyelashes because I feel like it kind of helps it look like I have a little bit of eyeliner maybe on my on the bottom. Just kind of helps line the eye a little bit. I just really like makeup that kind of accentuates the features that you have, but you still look like you. I don't want to look like somebody else. I still want to look like me and just have it complement the features that I have. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put on some lipstick. I have this really natural looking lipstick. It's actually a really cheap brand, it's NYC, but I love this color. It's super natural looking. Um, it's really close to the color of my lips already, but it just kind of adds a little bit of pinkiness to them. So I am kind of bummed because I think they stopped making this color. So I'm gonna have to find a new one at some point, but I'm just it's just a really pretty natural color. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is add just a little bit of highlighter. I don't even know, oh, it's a Benefit highlighter and it's just like a little stick. And I just put it at the top of my cheeks. Down the center of my nose. And then usually just top my chin right there. And then the last thing I do is just brush my eyebrows through. That way if there's any makeup on them or anything, it kind of cleans them up, makes them a little bit more, I don't know, nice looking. <laughs> Um, I really don't do ton with a ton with my eyebrows. I don't shape, I mean, I'll like shape them every once in a while, but I don't do a ton as far as like using an eyebrow pencil or anything like that. I just kind of keep them the way they are. And that's it. I try to keep it pretty simple. I don't use a ton of products. Um, just like I said, I want to keep it as natural as possible where my real skin is still showing through and I still look like me, so. Got some earrings, and then I'll probably do something different with my hair. I just pulled it back to be out of my way, but that's basically it. That is my everyday makeup. Um, if you wanna see more videos like this, maybe makeup for a special occasion or something like that, let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.